I fought my way through floor 5, unlocking floor 6, which hosts the Necromancer Lord. Today, we're going to defeat him and see if we can unlock floor 7, which hosts the toughest bosses in all of Hypixel Skyblock. Welcome back to my Road to Max series. Now, YouTube tells me that over 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Now, on to the video. Let's start off by claiming the rewards from AFK farming in my downtime. And after that, I got enchanting level 29 from the daily experimentation table. Now, we learned last episode that we were totally unprepared to face Zidane and received a near instant death. Let's jump back in and try some different tactics, like staying away from the golems and trying to corral the terracotta mobs. Okay, that didn't work. Let's see if we can safe spot him. I know I saw a flaming hopper that I could jump on. Yeah, I've got nothing, and I decided that trying to solo this without doing any research was not a good thing. Turns out the hopper safe spot was a terrible idea. Their damage is increased if the player's Y level is higher. <sighs> Thanks, Hypixel. Yeah, I'm fairly under-equipped for this fight, and after looking into what can help me have a fighting chance at this floor, I found the Baby Yeti Pet that gives a percentage of your strength as defense. With the Shadow Assassin perk that accumulates strength, I'm sold. I sold the Mutant Nether Warts for almost 20 million, and bought that Baby Yeti for just a hair under 19 million. Back to floor 6. And it's too low level to make much of a difference but there's still a small difference. We've got a bunch of undead essence. Let's upgrade health, defense, strength, intelligence, and crit damage. That's still a solid upgrade. Now I was told that power orbs can help with health and mana management. Say that 10 times fast. I can make the first one the radiant power orb, but to upgrade to the next tier, I'm going to need thousands of wolf teeth and a lot of gold, but I don't have the wolf slayer level for it. I want it, and thankfully, I have the Maddox Bat Phone that lets me call Maddox, who is a Slayer Master, and request new Slayer assignments without having to constantly go back and forth. I've got about 5 million in my purse. Let's see if this is enough. First off, I had a lot of fun making that little edit, but during that grind, I leveled Wolf Slayer to level 5, putting me up to Skyblock level 104. Howling Cave Teleport unlocked. Wolf Slayer level 6, finally! Oh, and Skyblock level 106. Did I miss level 105? Now, after too much grinding, I can finally craft- wait, that's- oh. I can finally craft the Mana Flux Power Orb, just in time for the New Year's Cake. Rotten Flesh level 9, Glowstone up, Fishing's Collections up, and then, oh, Skyblock level 107. 
Let's see if any of this actually makes a difference. Now, I didn't have my microphone on in this run, but I can only tell you how absolutely excited I was to finish Floor 6 for the first time and to do it solo. The loot was bad, but I rode this dopamine rush straight back into the catacombs and immediately crashed it by dying to complacency. It wouldn't matter though, because on my next run... Potion down, let's go try hard again. Here they come again. Oh, I thought I died there. Okay. Oh, that's fast. That's fast. Catacombs level 20. And nothing really good. I spent some Wither Essence on permanent upgrades, and after being comfortable enough to solo this floor, I decided to go with public lobbies, killing Livid with other players to get a feel for how things would change by not being solo. And a second time for good measure. In less than 10 minutes, we got an S rank, and again with an S plus, which leveled my Skyblock level to 108. Another win brought my Catacombs level up to 21. The next three runs were all victories, but my recordings of them messed up. I ended up getting two really good chests in the same run, and spent a dungeon key to unlock both a combobulator and my first piece of the necromancer lord equipment the leggings from here forward i'll skip opening the chests at the end and open them with croasis in one go
Now, having all these wins didn't come consistently. Going to public lobbies isn't a perfect thing, so you have to take the good part of it when it comes and accept the bad part of it, such as when the team that you're in are not so well coordinated or even toxic. You can try your absolute best and then something comes from the left field to humble you. A lot of the time your team will disconnect and you won't have the numbers to rely on one another and the team will go down again and again. I've been playing these mental warfare games with myself for years, and it's easy to look at your goal, in this instance, floor 7, and keep pushing through. I collected the chests and found my next piece of the Necromancer Lord equipment, the boots. I'm sure people know this, but when finding parties, some people will offer a permanent spot to stay and level up, requiring you to visit their island or join their discord. These are almost always a scam in an attempt to take your Minecraft account just for what you have in Hypixel Skyblock. Anyways, in the next dungeon runs, I found another Bloom. We took the win with a B for Bloom rating. Picturesque perfect. Oh, in my last Road to Max episode, I got a comment about these trap rooms telling me to use Ender Pearls. I'm no longer scared. Trap floors are made easy. I almost died there. Like my heart jumped, I thought I was gonna fall down to the death mites again. <laughs> Time this right, get in here, go back here, pearl across. Hope these traps are glitched, which they are. I claim my rewards from Croasis again, and then I went back into the dungeons for this run. Alright, floor seven. Let's do it. Oh yo. Maxor, well, 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 look who's here. Don't disappoint me, I haven't had a good fight in a while. Alright, what do I do? Okay. Okay, he doesn't take damage? Alright, what do I do? Okay. Oh, wait, I can't use abilities? That looks important. Something crystal, oh... So it doesn't have much point in doing that. Okay, energy. You do not currently have an energy crystal. Find one and bring it here. At least I can still heal from hitting him. Did I pick up an energy crystal? I didn't see anything weird. What do I do? What do I do? I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Ooh, that's a trip. Okay, 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 okay. I got a handle of some kind? I didn't see any crystal. Guys... I'm at a complete loss, and I need to research what to do here. Yeah, I, as you can see, it's obvious that my survivability here is very high, so I'm making the choice to leave with a bit of pride and research what in the world to do here. Rest in peace for this first Floor 7 run. <laughs> okay, Skyblock level 112. There's going to be a few things I need you to buy. It's going to be around 12 mil, so you're going to want to get some more money out. Jerry Sheen Gun? Mm -hmm. Yep, that one's fine. Literally, all we care about is the Reforge and what it has on it. We want alt wise 3 and Heroic. That's all we care about. You can even just put Alt-Wise 5 on your- or alt wise 3 on yourself, doesn't even matter. Your choice. Okay. Do that one, it's oh. alt wise 5, that's actually, that's actually a really good deal. Okay. alt wise 5 itself is like 2.5 oh, right now, I believe. Yep, and I can just do standard Reforge just to make it Heroic, right? Yep, exactly. And now you're also going to be needing a Undercrown, 5 Star, Giant, Recommed, and Last Stand 5. Yep. Any bow that insta shoots, and literally, I got one. Bow. Okay, perfect. I'm actually so jealous of your organization, though. I can't lie. <laughs> uh, yeah, just go ahead and buy a fluorid. Yeah, just pay a mil for one. Yep. 250 XP levels. Yep. And then just grab some grams to get your XP level back up to. Okay. So we partially know what to expect. The, they're up there. Ah, I can't do that. So pearls won't work. Let's clear this place out a bit. I gotta find somewhere to get into my backpack. Because I did not plan this the right way. Finally. Everything, 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 everything. There we go. Okay. I've seen ways people do this. I have to get in the corner here. Okay, yeah, I have no idea how to do that. Uh, the Jerry Shingun was a way to go on it, but obviously not. 
Is there maybe a parkour? Come on, Bloom, think of something. Am I at a loss? Is there no way to get up there? What am I doing wrong here? Jerry Shingun is not the right way to get up there. Though I've watched people do it before. How do they do it? I'm so confused. Is it crouching? A second round. I have to go out of here. And this time it's it's not even with dignity. It's it's I'm I have no idea what I'm doing. The, the Jerry Sheen Gun does not get me up there. I don't know the parkour for it. I'm going to have to look at a bigger guide on this. Oh man, that is so frustrating. I, I have no excuse. I had done a little bit of research before this run, and I found that the Jerry Sheen Gun was the easiest way to get up there and get that crystal to bring it down and progress the fight. Now, it seems somewhere along the line, whether it's an issue of my doing or something else, the Jerry Sheen Gun isn't working how I expect it to. So I just turned around the dungeon lobby and found someone that was willing to show me how it's done. And this happened. We somewhat know how to do the Jerry Sheen Gun now. Just a little bit of an angle and we climb. Wish me luck. Oh, come on. A little bit of an angle. Okay. Let's try to make this climb. Why? I know it's not me now. Just a little bit up. This is how it's supposed to go. Is it because I didn't jump? Is it because I'm getting hit? Is it because this guy won't just stop harassing me? I'm filing workplace violence against this guy. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. That was it. What you doing, Maxie? What you doing, Maxie? Not what you're supposed to be doing. No, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, I know how this must look to some of you watching this. You guys have the answer right there, and it's painful to watch me do this over and over and over again. So I guess I have to turn to you to tell me what I'm doing wrong. I have not the slightest clue. I've watched it happen. I've been able to do this before, but for some reason it's just not working. It might be because I'm getting hit. It might be because I don't know how to take care of Max or I'm going to rely on you guys in the comments to tell me what I'm doing wrong and how I can do this. <laughs> All right, and with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I look forward to talking to you guys in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.